we're here in Houston at your, your new home, uh, Dream Art USA. Uh, tell me what the, the move here has been like for you. Uh, I'm the seed uh, like uh, three years, uh, three weeks ago. Uh, me and Zach decided to be in Houston. It's a hard uh, decision of my life because I just have a 23 years old and I have uh, like seven years to compete, you know. But now we open the gym, I need to put my energy here, I need to move in here, and now I'm thinking about other things for my life, you know. But I like, I think it's, it's a great moment to growing for another part of my life. It's not for jujitsu, for athlete life, for teacher or business woman, you know. It's a lot of things. Uh, there, there seems to be a lot of, a lot of potential here, a lot of interest in what's going on, and a lot of young up-and-coming athletes already here, here with you all. Um, what's, what's your mission overall, I, I think, as far as being a coach, a leader, an instructor, an owner here? Yeah, now I'm coaching with Izaki here. Uh, we bring someone athletes uh, to stay with us, like a, with a six months, and then they go to they go back to Brazil and then come more more eight or ten athletes and now I want to teach I want to know a lot of different people you know because I'm a good athlete but I need to be better like a teacher you know I need to improve my English too I need to learn about business and this is the plan um. Aside from what's going on here, and I'm sure it's busy enough, but you also have three big competitions coming up. And Brazil is too far, you know. You can't see you guys before because you can't go to Brazil, you know. It's too far, but now I'm here. It's, now we're right here. Yeah, it's right close away. for you. We do everything for interviews, for training, for everything. It's uh, Maybe here we have a more opportunity, you know, with uh, flow grappling, EBJJF. Uh, or another companies, you know. And speaking of that, right, uh, in, in just a couple of weeks, No Heat Hands coming up. I was, I gotta say, I was a little surprised to see you sign up for No Heat Hands because <laughs> we see you doing so well and really focusing on the gi so much. But it was, uh, it was surprising in a good way to see you sign up for, for No Heat Hands. What do you hope for from that one? Everybody's surprised with me because always I say, I hate No Gi, you know. Everybody listens to this, I hate No Gi. Uh, last time when I'm competing no gi, I, I am a blue belt, like, uh, I don't know, eight years ago. <laughs> and now I'm decided to, to move for no gi because I see a lot of opportunities and I love money, I love suicide. If I need to do that for a suicide, for money, okay, I can go, you know. And I start with no gi like uh, two months with uh, Paulo Miao and I just don't like but I'm good, you know, it's crazy. <laughs> and I do my first championship in Brazil like uh, three years ago before I come here. And I'm one double gold, but it's hard, you know. Always in the competition, I say for my friend, oh, let's go home, <laughs> let's go home. I hate this, I hate this. And my friends, oh, let's go, let's go, one more, one more, and I'm, and I'm one. And now it's different because Pan Ams is a big tournament, you know. In USA, I think people in the USA, it's too much better than uh, Brazil in Nogi because people here training a lot Nogi and Brazilians not. <laughs> and I, I think it's more hard, you know, but I'm excited with uh, this new phase because I want to put myself on challenge, you know. Uh, always I say, if I don't like one thing, I need to do because I don't like, you know, I, I need to put myself on this challenge. And I'm very happy with this new decision. Do you, do you feel like coming out and really doing well in this division? You're in a tough division too, eh? It's not the way you like, by the way. Um, all right, uh -huh. Let, let's explain. Okay. You know, the GP is lightweight, you know? Uh -huh. The next year I want to be in federate because I want two world title in light feather, you know? And I say, next year I want to come in featherweight. But the GP, it's lightweight. And now I get a lot of weight, you know? <laughs> you can see that I, I get a lot of weight for GP and I'm a little bit heavy for featherweight now. But 
it's more comfortable for me going the featherweight. But when I see the, the bracket, the lightweight, I see, I saw have a lot of good girls in Nogi. And maybe I want to go in the light. I need to, I have four days for the seed. But if I go with a feather, it's, it's more comfortable, you know, I like this, this weight. But the GP, it's lightweight. Maybe it's better for me go to light, Nogi. So and what you're saying is you might still have another surprise for us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then the next week, the very following week, you're down in Brazil at BGA Stars against uh, Maria Claudia. Maria Claudia, yes. Yeah, okay. um, tell me about that match, about what you think about that match. Um, I wanted another girl for BJJ Stars, one tough girl. Maybe this fight happened, but in another opportunity. Uh, and Maria Claudia is the second option. When Fepa asked me if I want to fight with her, uh, I'm saying okay because she's a world champion and brown belt, and she has probably good future, you know. And I want to make a part of this future, you know. When she stays starting and growing, I want to to take her before she take her as, <laughs> you know. And then just uh, the week right after that, so three weeks in a row, right? The, the third week is the GP week we spoke about. Um, you're in an incredible division. Uh, mm -hmm. It's yourself, a world champion, and two other world champions, plus Johnny and Amaya. So you, yeah. Louisa, um, Maisa. Maisa, yeah. I fight with Maisa like, uh, I don't know, four times. I don't remember. I won the... the two last one fights. Uh, Louisa beat me when I have uh, two months of black belt. I need to do this vengeance, you know? <laughs> and Janaina, I just fight with her when she's uh, blue belt. I'm very excited because this division, it's so tough. Uh, I think it's more tough than first GP, you know, when stay Fion, Basilio and Natalie. I think uh, I don't know, Louisa, it's, she's tough, but she's tough, you know, always she's tough. Janaina is so strong, very strong. And Maisa, for me, it's uh, the girl more technical in whole life, you know, yeah. What did it mean for you when, when you were invited all, all the way back in, I think before August, right? You were invited to do this tournament, but this is a historic event for the IBJJF. It's the first ever women's GP. What did that mean for you? Um, I remember one time when EBJJF posted the men's GP, every girl go to the commentaries and hate EBJJF. And I, I don't like to hate, you know, because I like to do. And this day I, I comment too. And when the EBJJF invite me, I'm in bad face, like afterwards and vacation, I'm so fat, don't train, in, you know, I'm in Vegas, <laughs> it's crazy. And I think, oh, maybe I don't be ready for this GP now, but I'm commenting the post, I want the GP, you know, and now I have the opportunity to make a part of this, and I'm a sap, but I'm very excited with the GP. And then I'm, I'm back to the home and prepare the things for, for a fight. But the GP, it's changed the dates and I have more time to prepare myself and it's better for me because two, two months ago, I'm so bad. <laughs> and now I'll be better, yeah. Thank you. Thank you.